Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to episode 9 in the adventures of Kimtar Runamuck. Kimtar and the Hidden Guard are at the gates of Dulgardul, and they are preparing to exchange Morzog for the captured dwarves of Moria. So let us continue, and we'll speak to Boron. I am sorry, Kimtar, give me a moment. Braun leans on his walking stick and tries to catch his breath. I walked many miles to the north in search of the flower, and though I have my father's hardiness, it was still a most taxing journey. That it ended in success and that Israel has recovered was enough to give me further strength. But one more moment, friend, and I will take my and I will have my breath back in a moment okay so basically we're recovering from a long journey I was most wrong about the dwarf Broen Kimtar I have come to regret my words about him and perhaps about all dwarves well yeah you should to make such a seemingly futile journey in search of the one thing that might save someone he barely knows someone not even of his own race he showed a fortitude I had thought only elves could possess, and he did it with much less complaining than I have done. Well, yeah, but it's kind of good to see that Akador is seeing the light, so to speak. Would you tell him to remain here in such a way as to spare his feelings? He has proven himself to me and to the others for the rest of time. Okay, well... It's a good gesture. I do not want the guard at the gate to think we are weak, Kimtar. They would not think so if they knew the distance I traveled and in so short a time. I wonder if that will be the main verse of the glorious tale of Broar and the Mighty. It did not seem so glorious when I was hurrying through the dark dripping overstones and treacherous roots, searching for the flower. Okay. So we're basically just listening to these guys gripe. Or actually pat themselves on the back. Uh, thank you, Kemtar. It feels good to have a reason beyond revenge for this errand. I will burn with hatred for the orcs, but now too I desire to rescue the dwarves, whereas before it was only a vague purpose. Well, that's kind of nice. So now we just want to follow the hidden guard to the gate. And after all the journey, we are finally here. Holy cow, 146,000 hit points. Answer to these trolls if you try anything suspicious. Yeah, well, we could probably take the gatekeeper without any trouble, but I question being able to take those trolls. Well, here we are, Kimtar. Now we will see if this errand was not as foolhardy as first it seemed. Alright. The gatekeeper returns.
Gorothral, okay. Your offer does not interest me, Kimtar. What use to I, Gorothral, have for a useless orc such as Morzog, Lord of Caves? He is Lord of Nothing. The dwarves crawl all over his caves like worms on moldy bread. Blog. Yep, that's it. B-O-L-G. Blog. Would be ashamed of his son, and Azog would slay him for dishonoring his family line. But it would humor me to hold Mazog in the dungeons of this fortress until the world's ending, so he may have some time to think about how he failed his master. I will accept your offer. These three dwarves will go free, and I will accept custody of the orc called Morzog. Yeah, except those aren't the right dwarves, I don't believe. None of these dwarves is Bori, Kimtar. I thought not. They have been cruelly mistreated and seem close to death. Where is Bori? Mm. The dwarf called Bori is not part of this deal. I have offered you the lives of these three. I am receiving one prisoner and you are receiving three. You think this to be unfair? I do not like this, Kimtar. We must take Gorothal. We must make Gorothal turn Bori over to us in addition to these three dwarves, or we have failed. What can we do? Well, I can be zapped to where I can't do anything. That's the first thing. Oh, great, he just killed one of the dwarves, you bastard. These two for Morzog, then? Very well, if you are certain. And here comes the Nazgul. I do not possess the authority to treat with you. I am not the master of this fortress. I am merely a guest. Now we find out. No, these are the masters, and I did not consult them before making this deal. Well, there's three Nazgul. Chances are we can't take them. Oh, great. Now all the dwarves are dead. The Lieutenant, the Gloom, and the Black Blade. Yeah. Who the hell? Oh wow, Bori, yay! Suddenly you hear the voice of Galadriel inside Fly. your head. You cannot stand against this foe. Everybody else is running. I think I'll join them. Well, that kind of sucked. Why is the eye still on us? Lord Celeborn believed some of the Nazgul had come to Galdor Dal Gardul, but did not know for certain which of the nine had done so. Now we do, though it is of little comfort to us. The lieutenant of Dal Gardul commands the others. He is second only to the Witch King, he who hailed from Agmar in the north. The lieutenant of the tower rules the fortress. It is he who struck down Akador. The gloom of Nur was a wild man in that land. It is peopled now only by slaves of Mordor. He wields a warhammer in battle. I know nothing of the Black Blade save that he hailed once from Lebanon. He is 
fully a thrall now, as are all the Nazgul, though it is not always, though it was not always so. The Golden Host cannot think to stand against these three. It is hopeless. You're gonna ruin. You're gonna break your foot if you keep kicking that rock. Segaleth ignores you, her face a mask of anger and grief. You decide to leave her be. Yeah, I feel like I should go get something to put on her foot. It is over, Kemtar. So many have died, and still Bori languishes in the dungeons of Dalgodul. How can we hope to fight such evil? Ekador gave his life that we might have time to escape. We must not forget him. It is no use, we have failed. Let us go now inside Askaloth, though there is little we can do. The hidden god has failed. Okay. The main arm of the Golden Host has camped Thangulhard to the east. Perhaps it was foolish to think that treating with the enemy was possible, Kemtar, but there was enough to gain that it seemed worth the attempt. It has now failed, but the forces of Dalgordul will see the effect of betrayal betraying us beneath the flag of peace. The main arm of the Golden Host is camped in Theragold. A camp east of here in Guth Bazaar. Present yourself to Ninglorel, for she has will have something a champion such as you could do for the benefit of the Golden Host in the next stage of this campaign. Okay. So we need to go back up. Tell you what, I'm going to pause real quick and uh, repair my armor, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. The armor's repaired. We're ready to go. So we're going to head out. And since it's daylight, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, and head on up. And I'll show you uh, where we're going. It's kind of neat. I'm hoping that the reduced awareness may not cause us too much trouble. Because this is kind of a neat area, unfortunately. Oh, there's a cat. Anyway, I really kind of like going up here. It's kind of... There's a lot of switchbacks that you have to do, like here. Just kind of go back and forth. And let's see if we can see. I can't really get a good view down there yet. We'll wait till we get closer to the top. there's a little frog so this is kind of neat it's not as um yeah I'm getting some of the the res effect so you can definitely tell that there's reduced awareness but uh, still kind of neat <laughs> there's an orc rotter let's take him out
That's what you get for watching the road. So we'll continue on. And there's the stronghold that we're headed for. And there's Dalgar Duel. I hope this turns out real well, because it's still a little murky, but that is so cool with the, uh, with the beast, come on, get out of the weeds, with the beast and the dragons or whoever flying around the top, that is so neat. And now we need to go in here, then Glahad. Oh, and there's who we're supposed to meet. Okay. <laughs> Ning Glorel. We are met in time of war, though it is a war for which lasting victory may not come. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, that's the one I'll take. The orcs of Dol Guldor are being made into a dangerous fighting force. Okay, the armies of Gathbaraz. So we need to defeat the Auric commander. Uh, basically, I have to defeat three of them. In Burz, Burkala, Burfugs, and Hangoi. And then find the plans of battle. Okay, well we can do that. And... Well, my weapons, legendary weapons, need to be reforged, but I'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and mount up. And let's go take out these Auric Commanders. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. There's another Cargill. Well, this time we're going to bring up Sif and have her give us a hand. Let's go up and take this guy. Oh no, no you don't. No, you don't. You come back here. Oh, crap. And now we got a Marauder. I hate that he disarms us. And I'm willing to bet the horn has no effect. And that's what I thought. Worst problem is Kimtar doesn't have any of the. Hey, defeated him! Yay! Uh, Kimtar doesn't have any of those discs of hope. I guess if we're going to be adventuring up here, he needs to get some of them. Oh, Sif's in trouble. Let's go down here. Well, that sucks. I hate that when you revive, you don't get any friggin' hit points. And of course, the creature does. Well, screw this.
Okay. Now we're going to buff up a little bit. And I could have sworn he had an ability to increase his morale. No, apparently not. Okay, so we need to take out the Uruk commander, and there he is. Up on top, naturally. Alright, let's bring Sif back. double check. No, he doesn't have any of those little things of hope, so... We will avoid the Cargill. Oh hey! Guess what? There's the battle plan. Oh you, I'm not afraid of a little skirmisher. Alright, let's take out the Uruk command. Oh, and guess what? There's another set of battle plans, but I wonder if... Eh, that's kind of what I thought. We have to take out the Marauder. We should be able to take out the Marauder without too, too much trouble. We just have to be aware of the Cargill. Okay, let's see where the next one is. I wonder if we can jump down. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Oh no, Sif's going to walk around. Hi, Sif. Yes, I fell. Alright, let's go up here and take out this commander. And we're going to leave Sif out because I have a funny feeling we're going to need her. Yep. Hungoy. What 
do believe I see another set of orders right across from us. So this should be three of five. Now let's see. Oh, and here's another set. Oh heck with it, I'm gonna go up and take him. And somebody's trying to come up. I wonder who it's gonna be. Oh, it's another Marauder. It should be interesting, fighting on the wall. Wow, that went better than I thought. Oh wow, Sif's down there. Oh no. Yay! Okay. Battle plans are over here. Grab those. Never did find the commander. There he is. Let's see. Come here, commander. Good, okay. So now we just need to find the Uruk commander of Burz Burkala. Darn, I just realized I didn't reset my uh, milestone. Oh well. Probably would have been a good idea to check in with the stable master too. I'll have to do that when we get back. Where are that? Okay, that's just a marauder. Okay, we're gonna have to take out the poisoner. There's a ring. Oh my goodness. There's an elf. You have come to help. I have tried to avoid the orcs for as long as I can. Escort the wounded elf to safety. Well, of course we can do that. Not going to leave him out here by himself.
And you're kind of on our way anyway. Uh oh. No, you're not. You're not going to cross our path. All right. Wonder what else is in store for us. Okay, we've rescued the wounded elf, so he can go ahead and head back on his own, I'm sure. And let's head down here and see if we can't find the Uruk commander. Yep, this is where we need to be. Ah, I think we can get in up here. Well, that's not good. Yep, this is where we need to be. Now I wonder where the commander is. The dog on the water. These are not that difficult to take on. Well, I would say one at a time, except that, well, I do have Sif backing me up. Right, I don't think you're the Ura commander, but we'll take you out too. See if the commander's up this way. Yep. Okay, Sif, let's take him out. I <laughs> Okay, now we just need... Oh, hell, we still need to find the battle plans. Darn. I wonder where the battle plans are here. There they are. And there's a war. There was a ward. Okay. Looks like the battle plans are over here. Uh, 
Okay, now we can head back. Uh, there's a skirmisher. I wonder if there's a way down here. No, unfortunately there isn't. Oh, darn it. Okay, let's head out of here. Oh man, I really don't want to fight. F oh, here. Oh, and I got a bad feeling that Sith is being attacked. No? Good. Okay, Sith, let's go. It looks like it's a little high to jump. Now, if we stay behind him... Yay! Okay. I'm gonna let Sith go. Thank you, dear. And let's get out of here. See, I don't believe... Nope, can't go that way. So we'll see if we can't go up through here. Come on, get out of the way of the tree. After all, this is a goat. He should be able to climb this without too much trouble. Finglehead. Yay! Almost back. Oh, cool! Another player character. Let's check in. How can I be of service? And now let's go find people we need to talk to. Um. Yeah, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna kind of change my uh, my stone just yet. Okay, we need to talk to her. Great, how do you get down? You have done well to sow disarray in the camp of the orcs. Cool. This foul craft of the enemy cannot be permitted. According to the battle plan, sorcerers under the tutelage of Gorothal are seeking to draw fell spirits into the service of the armies of the Dolgaldur. This is not the first we have heard of this, but it supports the words of Saladeth, a Melodarum scout who passed this way when returning to Askarath. Okay, none of these sorcerers will have Gorothal's skill, but they will still be dangerous foes. So we need to collect the spell tomes and defeat the fell spirits. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and accept that. But this is going to be where we go ahead and end the episode. So next time we'll pick up and we'll finish these tasks. And we'll see what we can do with rescuing the dwarves from Dalgarduel. So, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Uh, please give it a like if you did. 
and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would certainly appreciate it. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.